And now, First One Five Weather with forecaster Stephen Sarabia. Good morning. It is 946 and this is our Sky 5 cam at the island showing partly sunny skies. Looking really nice this morning if you do plan on going towards the island traffic flowing nice and smooth. They do have about a 30% chance to see some spotty rains in the afternoon. So keep that in mind if you do plan on making your way towards the island. Temperature wise, they will be in the mid to upper 80s. Very breezy there with wind speeds coming from the northwest at 23 miles an hour. Small craft use caution. If you plan on going tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. About a 30% chance of rain there with temperatures in the mid to uh, upper 80s again, once again. And here's a look at the tides in the area. We've got two tides today, a low tide at 1.54 p.m. And let's go ahead and take a look at the temperatures across the entire valley. Some places getting close to the 90s this morning, like Edinburgh at 89, 87 for Weslaco, 85 for Harlingen, and 84 for Brownsville. And here's a look at the future track by 2 p.m. Parts of the valleys will be in the low 90s, like Weslaco, Harlingen, Brownsville in the upper 90s at 97, 91 over at the island. By 7 p.m., most temperatures will be in the low 90s, 92 for Edinburgh, 91 for Rio Grande City. And here's a look at tomorrow, starting out in the upper 70s across the board for the valley. 80 degrees, though, over at the island. And for tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m., we've got a variety of temperatures. We have Raymondville in the upper 70s, Harlingen at 81, 83 for Brownsville, and 90 for Rio Grande City, again, around 3 p.m. tomorrow. And here's a look at the average this time of the year. It's 96 degrees, and our high is expected to be 99, so just a bit above the average, though Monday will drop below it at 94, but then Tuesday right where we should be for this time of the year at 96. Wind speeds going to be very breezy today and they're already starting to pick up across the valley. McAllen showing wind gusts around 25 miles an hour. Weslaco showing gusts around 20 miles an hour. Everywhere else seeing a constant wind speed over 10 miles an hour. So something to keep in mind if you plan on doing anything outdoors. It's going to be very breezy out there. And here's a look at the upcoming week for the valley. For tomorrow, temperatures 94. We have a 30% chance for some spotty showers, especially in the morning. So keep that in mind if you're going to do some traveling around there. Same thing on Tuesday, about a 30% chance of rain. Then it clears out by Wednesday, leaving us with a lot of heat with partly sunny skies. The high 99 on Wednesday. Thursday, temperatures do drop though into the mid 90s and then the low 90s by the end of the week, but still partly sunny skies for the end of that upcoming week. And that's your look at your updated First Warn 5 forecast.